People say it's just a matter of time before someone gets killed, and a county commissioner agrees with them. The threat is a very busy intersection near three schools where drivers speed and treat a stop sign like it's invisible. So why hasn't it been dealt with? Here's News 13's Katie Kim. I believe we're gonna, this is a ticking time bomb. There's a lot of crashes over there. Valencia High students in Los Lunas are all too familiar. So they'll go off-roading? Yeah, most of the cars will go off-roading. Three schools are less than a mile from this intersection, near Manzano Expressway and Rio del Oro. The before and after school rush has been near deadly. This stretch of highway has seen its fair share of car carnage. Valencia County officials say it's only a matter of time. Somebody's going to get seriously hurt. County Commissioner Don Holliday says the problem is this two-way stop. We rolled our cameras after school as we saw car after car after car blow through the stop sign. Eight cars failed to stop in under 10 minutes. I'd like to see a stoplight uh, timed right. But the county has put a stop to the plan to add a stoplight. Holiday says it could cost upwards of 300 grand, money the county doesn't have. We need to get it done. Whether the county does it or schools does it, or we work together to get it done. But a recent county study shows installing a four-way stop or even a stoplight might do more harm than good. People will train themselves when there's no other traffic around during off-peak hours. Uh, they'll, they'll train themselves to, to run those, uh, those uh, stop control features and basically break the law. County Manager Eric Zamora says a better, cheaper alternative would be to hire a school resource officer to direct traffic before and after school. A deputy used to do that job last year. At this point, we're just short of funds and short of, of manpower, just as everybody else's. But the county says doing nothing is not an option. What's a life worth, you know? That's dropping the bucket to me. I think we need to try to come up with that money. In Los Lunas, Katie Kim, KRQE News 13. Commissioner Holliday says the county will try to work with the school district and the state to come up with the money to either hire an officer or install a